Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. Hope everyone's well. Well, the boys have had dinner, so um, I guess I'm going to throw down some more cards for somebody. Let's see who's next. The Hierophant. Excellent. Taurus. You guys are up. It's reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for August 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. Cheer free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Hey. Two cups and the nine of pentacles decided to stand up by themselves. Possibly because these are so bowl shaped. But if they come back out, we'll see what happens. Okay. Where was I? It's your free will to do. Okay. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. <laughs> Check your moon rising and Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And you guys are welcome here too. Okay. Without further ado, Taurus, August 2020. Why are you here, Taurus? Prince Pentacles. Fun and exciting offer. Could be. Might be an apology coming your way or one that you need to give to someone. Slow moving, stable. Take it however it resonates. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Hmm. Boy, this could be karmic. They could be in a downward cycle. Hmm. Huh. Okay, we'll get some clarity on that in a second. What do you think of the person you're dealing with? Three of Wands in the reverse. Either you're done waiting on them or they're done waiting on you. Hmm. Someone has walked away from the dock. What do you want from them? Princess of Cups. Either you want to give messages or you want to receive messages. You want communication. You want to hear the words or you want to say them. We'll throw some clarity on it in a second. How do they feel about you? Five of Swords. It's a card of picking up pieces, my friends. It's what happens after you lay something to rest. Maybe they feel like you're picking up pieces. Maybe they're the ones picking up the pieces over you. Energy's fluid, guys. What do they think of you, the Princess of Wands? Oh, well. That's a whole lot of interesting conversations. Perhaps they think that's all you ever wanted to talk about, Taurus. Again, take it however it resonates. If you need further explanation exactly what I'm talking about, just shoot me an email. It's things of a certain nature that we will not discuss further. I don't think I need to draw you a map. What do they want from you? The hanged man in the reverse. So, oh, okay. Maybe they want you to get a little bit more emotional than other things. Okay. What's the obstacle in this connection? Seven of Swords. Oh! 
Perhaps there was some sneaking around. Or perhaps someone was making big plans without the other person's knowledge. We'll throw a clarifier on it in a second. It's a card of multiple meanings. What needs to be done, the fool. The fool's pretty cool. But he jumps a lot. Sometimes he jumps without thinking. But he's always starting out on a new path. All right. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Taurus? August 2020. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. August 2020. Cards are getting to be a little bowl-shaped again. I will beat the heck out of some cards, let me tell you. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here? For how Taurus feels about whoever they're dealing with. Chariot in the reverse comes out. Hmm. Downward cycle of events. Can also be card of return. The chariot in the reverse also happens to be a card of return. <laughs> Maybe the chariot's a little bit out of control. Page of Cups reverse pops out. Maybe you're not hearing the messages you want to hear. Or maybe you're not saying what you want to say. Queen of Swords reverse possibly... You might possibly have a little bit of a bad attitude toward this person. Maybe you feel like they were your downward cycle of events. Take it however it resonates. Maybe you feel like they have a little bit of an attitude problem toward you. What? Can I get the question out? Why is the Three of Wands reversed here? Three of Cups in the upright. Not waiting at the dock. They're going out having fun with other people. Nine of Wands, perhaps. You think that their walls are going up. Six of Cups reversed in strength. Oh. Bad memories. Salty feelings. Regaining strength. That kind of goes along with a bad attitude. No. Why is the Princess of Cups here? Eight of Swords. Oh. I get it. I get it. Wow. Okay. Hermit reverse, Ten of Cups. Perhaps you may be the one wanting to give an apology. Someone's a little bit wrapped up. Someone may have their head in the sand. You see the potential for great happiness and great joy and a, a, just a freaking fairy tale ending, but either you want to give this apology or you feel like you're owed an apology. One of the two. 
the strength card, perhaps you were just too different. It's another one of those that worked until it didn't situations. The potential's there, but it was a matter of trust. The strength in the Seven of Swords, I don't know. A Fool is another card of trust. Maybe trust was the issue. Uh, let's see what some more clarity has to say. Why is the Five of Swords here for how the other person feels about Taurus? Sun Reversed comes out. Connection not equally acknowledged. Pieces being picked up. Nobody's talking. Knight of Swords reversed. There's a cut off in communication. Probably straight up blocked communication. Might have something to do with the salty attitude and salty memories. Bad attitude. Somebody needing to apologize for something, maybe. I'm not taking 20 cards. Go back. The Queen of Pentacles upright in the world reverse pops out. I'll put that right there. Perhaps somebody, I don't know. I don't know. It's like somebody may have had a little bit of an independent streak about them. I don't think this cycle is meant to end though. Ace of Cups. There's a potential for a new start. These are all coming in without intention. I'm going to put them over here. Why is the Princess of Wands here? Not that I need further iteration on that. Oh, wow. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands reverse. Temperance. Not big into communication. Hmm. No communication, no forward movement, but energy flow, patience. One more on that. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with with this Princess of Wands and the Temperance card. Tower reversed. Well, it's got to start somewhere. If it's not something of a certain nature, they think there's potential for forward movement. But nobody's acting on it. The tower still needs to be rebuilt. It's just a pile of rubble right now. Why is the hangman reversed here? King of Wands reverse pops out. Less things of a certain nature, more emotion. Perhaps they just want it to be about more than things of a certain nature. Ten of Wands reversed. I think I'm on the right track with that. I keep getting a lot of upside down wands here. King of Swords reversed. Mmm. Attitude adjustments need to happen here. According to the person you're dealing with. It needs to be a lot less things of a certain nature and... more emotional. They want more emotion from you. Like they want to know how you feel. Emotion wise, not other things. Hi, old man. Pardon me a moment. I need to let the cat out. One out. Okay. Go on. Goodbye.
boy. <laughs> he got awful sick over the weekend. I'm just glad he's feeling better. We almost lost him. Anyway. Okay, why is the Seven of Swords here? For the obstacle and challenge in this connection. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Thank you. Justice in the reverse comes out. Lies, deception, things not being fair. Or at the very least, things not being equal. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Someone isn't filling cups with the right things. Someone may not be filling cups at all. Six of Wands reverse. Someone might be a little bit on the cocky side. Okay. Oh. Knight of Wands, that's that's a commitment card. Somebody may want to commit and the other person doesn't. You're not on the same page here. Someone's making big plans, possibly, and they're not letting the other person in on it. All right, why is the Fool here? Hey! All right, it was in the reverse when I saw it, so... That's how we're going to take it. Empress reversed. New paths. Page of swords reversed. Death in the reverse. This is a look before you leap thing. This fool speaks of new paths. Hmm. Okay. We're going to get some advice. Other than look before you leap because spiritual growth and change on one or the other's part could be a long time coming and honest communication is going to be a long time coming and the potential for growth is going to be a long time coming judgment upright death in the reverse it's time to make a judgment call because if you wait on change you're going to be waiting a while one more set the star in the reverse and the nine of wands in the upright. Somebody has to heal from something here. There's negative energy flow. There's past stuff that hasn't been healed from. Could be yours, could be theirs. I'm not saying completely close your off and wall look close yourself off in walls. That's not what I'm saying. Just keep your guard up. At least admit vulnerability until you're healed. Emperor in the upright, four of swords in the reverse. Don't be all about it's my way, the highway, hell or high water. As long as there's still restless energy. You have to except that the other party might be a little bit hesitant and restless and they may have their reasons for that. So don't give ultimatums. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, the King of Cups in the upright. I'd be a little bit careful about who you give that cup to until you know what's up. Know exactly how good the offer is and who exactly you're taking it from. Because that offer may not be all it's cracked up to be. I don't know who that one was for, but if it resonates, it resonates. All right, gang. 
I think that does it for the earth signs for this month. So, oh, wow. Let me know what happens. This is some crazy energies going on. I might be trying to read too close to a full moon. I don't know. It's coming out how it's coming out today, I guess. So, all right. I will catch you guys in a couple of weeks for your September readings. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you all wholeheartedly. And hopefully, as long as life stops happening, I can, like, get back on track with the channel here. I don't know. Sometimes life has a way of steering, you know? Be blessed. I love you guys. Talk soon.